Hello, everybody. Welcome back to SC Racer 97. Um, I am so sorry for the, um, the, the minimum uh, two month break in between each video that I post. I'm gonna try and upload more frequently since it's like the new year. Lol. Wow. Um, but today we're gonna take a deep dive into the ocean that is the Cars video game, like beta, lost content, stuff like that. Or it's not really lost because, I mean, we have the wiki and stuff, but. Anyways, let's get on into it, shall we? Oh boy, we've got a, quite a lot to talk about about this game. Um, there's a lot of content that got cut from this game, surprisingly. Let's just start it off with that. Um, Cortland's number, aka Johnny Blamer, um, his number in the promotional concept art was actually number four. Uh, but was later changed to 191 for unknown reasons. Also, Sonny's spoiler ends were originally facing down in the promotional art, but were later facing up in the video game yet again for unknown reasons. There was planned to be a sixth Piston Cup race at a track called Pine Hills International Speedway. We don't know what this Pine Hills track looks like. There was going to be a race in Radiator Springs with Lizzie as the main antagonist at nighttime. There was a mini game plan where you would to pave the road with Bessie with McQueen and however it was released in the Java version of the game and McQueen's physics can be seen above as you can see McQueen has been slowed down a lot and gotten a lot more mass added to his character model speaking of minigames we also have some minigame um, instruction screens Paven Crazy is now the confirmed name for the Bessie minigame next is Ramon's jump jam looks like he'd have to jump over billboards using the jump feature if you try to load up Ramon's Jump Jam, you'll get placed in front of Lizzie's, and I'm assuming you'll have to jump over the billboard. Next up, we have this mysterious Toe Mater minigame. It only has the three bullet points, no text. Following the Mystery Mater minigame, we have this pretty much confirmed title screen for the name for it. You can tell because in front of the name, it has MG, most likely standing for minigame. Next, we got this Mater Speedy Circuit um, loading screen. You could actually unlock this track with cheat codes for one of the games, I'm pretty sure. And finally, for the loading screens, we got this um, unused in Radiator Springs Night um, loading screen, probably for the time that you go into nighttime for Radiator Springs. There was going to be a second Docs lesson event based on round tilting. It was going to take place at Willie's Butte, but at nighttime. There was planned to be an extended cutscene at the final race of the game with Daryl Cartrip in it. One line from this cutscene, it doesn't get any better than this, can be heard in the video game's trailer. There was supposed to be a sixth licensed song in the game named Go Faster, performed by the Black Crows. There was going to be one more Radiator Springs Grand Prix race called Radiator Springs Grand Prix Race 4 East Valley. What this East Valley place is unknown, but it could have been a fourth area to the map. Some Piston Cup racers were planning to use the same model as Clogged Scruggs, which was actually resurfaced and put on the internet. It's unknown why they didn't use this cloud model, maybe for storage purposes. Here we have a screenshot of the beta version of the game, which appears to be on the Los Angeles International Speedway with Greg Candyman in second, and it appears to have his original number from the movie. Here we have a screenshot of a road race, and Mac even appears in the background, as you can see, even though this is a road race, not story mode. Here we have a lot of screens for concept arts. I'll show them all right here because I'm too lazy to name all of them. Here we have a lot of unused character dialogue. Looks like Daryl was actually supposed to be the main announcer instead of the other weird uh, announcer used for the Piston Cup races. The link will be in the description if you guys want to uh, hear all the voice lines. Next up we have deleted scenes for these. I came up with a theory that the, each of these cutscenes are for one of the scrapped minigames. I've came up with that this one with Bessie is for Paven Crazy. This one with Mater pulling things is for Mater's Countdown Cleanup. And finally, this one with Ramon and McQueen arguing about jumping is for Ramon's Jump Jam. And this cutscene is unknown for what it was used for, maybe an uh, extra road race or minigame. The video for all the cutscenes will be linked in the description if you want to go watch it. Finally, we have the unused icons from the game. First up, we got an unused Lenny icon. Then we got a few unused paint job icons for Sally. Unused alternate McQueen paint job icon. A terrifying looking Mia and Tia icon. Unused Frank icon, most likely for tractor tipping. And not one, but two unused Lizzie icons. 
And most surprisingly, we have Stanley. His use is unknown. Woof, that was a lot of scrap content. Well, let's waste no time. Let's just dive straight into the Mater National Cut scrap content. Well, first up, surprisingly, is some scrapped events. Here we have an earlier version of Ghost and Mater. Pause if you want to read that, by the way. Here's the actual gameplay of it. As you can see, it's very buggy. You just fall right through the map. But if you load into a different one, it'll work fine. As you can see, it's working just all right. Next, we have an early version of Radiator Springs Circuit. As you can see, most of the track textures are working perfectly fine. It's just like the, the grandstands and the balloons that have this weird buggy texture. It looks pretty weird in my opinion. Also in this early Radio Spring Circuit, you can see Bessie in the background. I, I swear to God that that was in the original game, or it might just be an Amanda effect, I don't know. Then finally, there's some banners on that rock wall in the background. It might just be a glitch or something, but it looks pretty weird. Then finally, for the early events, we got an early version of Wheelwell Circuit. Now sadly, there isn't any videos of this race, but there are some screenshots. Here's the supposed, um... This weird start in this section. Um, I don't know why Emma is so far back. And then there's some broken track textures. Apparently, it just shows you the void under the map, I guess. And then finally, there's some early um, arrows to point you in the right direction, or like barriers, walls, whatever you want to call them. However, these were mainly just placeholders, so they weren't intended to be in the final game. Now, let's take a look at some old and early loading screens for the game. Here's the legal screen showed at um, E3 2007. And here's the full um, early loading screen shown in the prototype version, and it was also featured at 2007 E3. And surprisingly, the original loading screen is supposed to be blue? Yes, the developers almost made the decision to make the entire loading screen sections blue. Here's probably the loading screen for all the events. And also a blue header for all the um, text. Here's an unused um, loading screen, which may look like the original one, but is has a different name and is probably used for something else. And then we have three unused or early loading designs. We have a Radiator Springs one with McQueen on it. We have an Ornament Valley one with Mater on it. And then we have a Ramon one with Tailfin Pass on it. This just says Tailfin. Now let's take a look at some unused concept art. First up, we got all three um, concept designs of the Ornament Valley Airport. Then we got an original render of Bessie. Then we have an original render of Fred. And then we got the preview image of Fred before you click on him. And then we got the original um, art of Red. Then we got the two original Luigi's Casadella tires. And then finally, we got the uh, very first um, Radio Space Speedway. And then for some reason, we got the three main images of the Lightning McQueen model that they used for the other the temporary loading screens. Looks like the Xbox model. All right, next up is probably going to be the weirdest thing I've ever seen in a Cars video because literally they made renders of an Xbox 360 controller and a PS3 controller for the tutorials. Some people speculate that they made these so they could test out different perspectives for the controller views for each system. And now next up we got some very, very early wheel design um, concepts. So these were just like wheel sets that you could collect like around the area and stuff and these have been way updated since. This one probably being the weirdest yet coolest because it has a 3D texture, which I would have loved to see in the game. Next up, we have some early Emma textures. These looks like they're on a completely different model and the purple one is just a temp texture. Then we got an early um, Goodman tire texture left over in Yuri's file um, from the beta model. Then we got an unused orange Fillmore texture. Then we got an unused Rockstar Sarge paint job. And then finally, we got an unused Bessie texture. All right, now let's switch over from paint jobs to icons. We got this beta Mater icon. Then we got this beta Sarge icon. Then we have a beta Fillmore icon. I think he looks fat. And then we have a beta Tommy Joe. And then finally, we have a beta Cletus icon. Then we have an unused Frank icon, which was most likely intended to use for tractor tipping. Unused Lizzie icon. I don't know why. And then an unused Guido icon. It was later reused it for a race Rama. And then a beta Sully icon. And then an unused Sally icon, which meant she was intended to be in the game. And then we got um, Philip's placeholder icon, Giovanni's placeholder icon, Luigi's placeholder icon, and Ramon's placeholder icon, which is basically just his um, new um, icon with just the temp logo in front of it. A Bessie icon for who knows what. 
an original Emma icon with an original design, an original Fred icon, an icon with Koji and his unused paint job, an early Judd icon, and surprisingly, a very old auto icon. We have an old red icon, and then we have an original Goodman icon, a beta Tommy Joe icon, and finally we have a beta Yuri icon. Now let's take a look at some beta or weird screenshots of the game. First we got an original McQueen one with uh, seven stickers instead of the original number. Then we got Mater on Rust Bucket Race 2 at daytime. And then we got McQueen, Luigi, and Barry at a dark stadium race. And then we got a beta screenshot of Mike and Sully's last laugh. There were actually going to be two more team relays that were going to be called Team Relay 6 and Team Relay 13. These tracks would have been Rust Bucket Grand Prix and Stadium Race 2. Even though they have been removed from the game, they have been added back from mods. Goodman and Koji's code names were Sven and Hero. This led a lot of people to speculate they, they were going to be called those names in the final game. The Wii version revealed that they had different names planned as well, according to the isolated cutscene audio. The majority of McQueen's voice clips were reused in Mater Nashville, but were reenacted. Almost every quote that wasn't reused has a reenacted version that can be found in the files. Some background characters like Philip, Yuri, Fred, Tommy Joe, etc. have voice clips that suggest that they were intended to be driving around in exploration mode, but they never appeared there. In the Wii version of Mater National, voiceovers for the cutscenes can be found, even the ones where Gudman and Koji get called various different names. It also revealed that Fred, Sheriff, Flo, Lizzie, Philip, and Yuri were going to appear in the ending cutscene of the game. An unused remix of the Radiator Springs theme can be found in the rest of the game's music file. Here's what the song sounds like. I'll put the link in the description if you want to listen to the rest of the song. Anyways, getting back on topic, apparently you can find four identical Lizzie icons and a very mysterious icon for Stanley, both would which appear in the Cars video game, like how we talked about earlier. Localization files have found Max's name in there. They may have forgotten to remove it, or he could have been an extra character in the game. A very large amount of non-playable characters in Mater National. These include Sheriff Mia, Fletcher, Philip, Yuri, Lenny, Snotrod, Louis Judd, Buford, and Count Spatula have been found playable data in their dictories. It can be assumed that they were played as during development to test the animations, although some people speculate that they could have been playable characters. For proof, here's a screenshot of Snotrod featured being playable in the game's trailer. Data for an event called Time Trial Races was found where the player could practice on different tracks. In Mater National's executable file, the unused cheat code Scenes For You was found. While it is unknown what exactly the cheat code was going to let you do, according to the name, it was likely going to make cutscenes replayable. And finally, the entire prototype build of Mater National was uploaded on Hidden Palace, not too long ago actually. The game uses this loading screen for each race, and there are only three races in the game. Fillmore's Nature Preserve, Stadium Race 1, and Rust Bucket Race 1. I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to play it, and, use, and you have to use Dolphin Emulator to emulate it. And here's the disc that the game was originally built on. Alrighty, we are now on Racerama. That was a lot of stuff for Mater National. But I don't think Racerama has that much beta content, so let's just dive right in, shall we? First up, we got this unused um, loading screen. McQueen looks a lot more determined and has different wheels. Next, we got some unused character icons. We got Chick Student, Doc Student, and an unused Dragon McQueen. Now, you might be thinking that the Tokyo Mater does have Dragon McQueen in it, but... It, the minigame lacks icons in two-player mode, which Dragon McQueen is present in. Now we got some unused textures. First up, we got this unused McQueen paint job. Then we have an unfinished McQueen um, wheel texture. Maybe the, it was the wheels that he was using in that um, loading screen. Then we got a snot rod engine for, that, um, for the customization. And here's the gloss for it, too. 
And finally, here's a temporary paint job for Ramon. Here's an unused preview image of the game. McQueen seems to have a different body kit on, and the racers in the back seem to be different as well. Here's an early VIN design with the Claw model returning, but sadly it didn't get added to the game once again. Now we have some planned and unused characters. We have Vin's second model that we just talked about, Lightning McQueen with a drag racing and unknown tuning setup, Mia with her rescue squad mater, and Tia with her rescue squad mater paint jobs, and Mater as his rescue squad mater paint job. Maybe there's gonna be another Cars Tunes mini game where you had to put out fires with Rescue Squad Mater. And finally, for unadded characters, we have Sally, who was not added due to copyright from Porsche. Here's some concept art of a uh, um, home menu screen and some more um, concepts that look more closely to the final ones that are in the game. Here we have some early versions of Racerama from the trailer. As you can see right here, some of the text has the Mater National font for some reason, and McQueen right here seems to be using his PS2 eyes and his PS2 model with different tires. Here's some more unused body kits that McQueen has. Maybe this one was his drag racing body that we were talking about. Here's some of this new orange character, it looks like a rally car, and some more concept drawings of a mountain rally course, looks cool. Then we got this drift car racing through the streets of, um, looks like Japan or something, maybe early Motoropolis designs or something. Then we got some early concept designs, which looks like it's supposed to be Autovia, but I'm not too sure. And then finally, we got this amazing looking statue of Lightning McQueen and Doc racing at Willie's Butte, right by Willie's Butte. Maybe this was like a reward for you beating the game or something. In Cars Racerama has plenty of unused voice clips in all versions of the game, even with certain AUD files, and having a whole category dedicated to the listening of unused voice lines for a specific character. There also exists dialogue for a cut Rescue Squad Mater minigame belonging to Mater, Lightning, Mia, and Tia. And here in the beta version, you can see Mater and some of the other townies racing on the speedway. In the final game, you can only race Vin, Chick, and the students from both racing academies. Weird. In Cars Racerama, the names for most of the characters do not appear on the CSS or the results screen, so it's normally known that the names of Lightning's alts are normally, but in the game's localization files, we can see that their names are normally are Super Sport Lightning, Santa Carrera McQueen, Dirt Kick and Lightning, Auto Via McQueen, City Racer Lightning, Motorotropolis, and Tuned Up Lightning McQueen for the Speedway. Also in that same file are four characters that never appeared in the game, and it all Gerald, Red, Frank, and Bessie. Goddamn, how does Bessie manage to get into the game files of every Cars game so far and not make it into the final game? Anyways, the Kerpler along with Grenormus and Count Spatula have playable data in Cars Race from Roma, and it even has select screen triggers in the hardcore of all versions of the game. In Cars Race from Roma, there was going to be a street race too in Radiator Springs. The track itself is basically Radiator Cap Circuit, but without the shortcut. Here's the concept art for El Machismo. Looks like he has a spoiler and a bigger bumper with teeth. Alrighty, three games down, uh, three more to go, I think? I don't even know at this point. Alright, I think Cars 2 might have the least amount of scrap content, so let's just get straight into it. First up, we got a deleted song called Tokyo Spy. Apparently, it is different for each version of the Xbox 360 and PS3. I'll play them right now. I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to listen to the rest. Next up we have some scrap content from the DS version of the game. Here we got the test track car, it looks like the um, Mac iCar which is different decals, and there's the 
logo for it. it looks like the one from disney world and a placeholder icon i don't know what it's for though next up we got an unused mcqueen paint job looks like the japanese flag design and then we have an unused mission that was going to be using the party stage and you'd have to collect some intel there's no other information about it only except on the menu it's called intel hunt huh next up we got some cut playable characters from the game first up we got sally then we got um lewis hamilton and then surprisingly lizzie for some reason i like to race with her and then we have mac and then the test track racer only for ds though and the two surprising ones we've got claude scruggs for some reason and then finally we got michael schumacher for some reason i don't even know why Damn, this is really the third time we got robbed out of a Claude model. Jesus Christ. Well, then I guess we got Sally and Mac and Cars to Driven to Win, and basically made by the same developers, so yay. On some cut character paint jobs, we got Emerald, Lewis Hamilton, Gold, Holly Shiftwell, Blue, Michael Schumacher, and Cars 1, Lightning McQueen. And then this final one probably reveals the most, but it's this garage concept wall. As you can see, it has the Cars 1 McQueen, the Emerald Green Lewis Hamilton. You can see Mac, Lewis Hamilton, Michael Schumacher, Gold Holly Shiftwell, Claude Scruggs, and Blue Michael Schumacher. Wow. All right, we are on Cars Fast as Lightning now. You might be surprised that this game was on the list, but yes, it does indeed have scrap content. Let's waste no time. Let's jump straight into the scrap content of Cars Fast as Lightning. Let's take a look at some scrap characters, starting with Ramon. Yes, Ramon was intended to be in the game, although he does not have textures, just this weird white color. Then we got a Nigel Gearsley model with no eyes, surprisingly. Then we got this very creepy looking Mia and Tia model, which almost looks like the icon for the Cars video game. <laughs> Still scares me. Anyways, getting back on track, we have a scrapped red model. Then the most surprising character we have is John Lassatire for some reason. Wow. Then also Tex Dynaco is supposed to be in it, but yet again, it's just this weird um, white texture. Then we got some cut paint jobs from the game. First up, we have um, Hudson Hornet McQueen, then Dragon McQueen right here, then Aviator Mater, and then we have Diving Mater. Nice. Then we got some building models and it looks like a Bob Cutlass model too, which is probably just Lewis Hamilton's crew chief. Pretty cool. Then for the beta characters, we have Nigel Gearsley, me, and Tia. Right? Basically, just all the characters that we just talked about, but the king. But we don't have any pictures of him, surprisingly. Then finally, for Cars Fastest Landing, we have this placeholder icon, which is probably used for stickers and a poorly scaled one, too. All right, we are on the last game of the list. It's taking us almost 30 minutes to get to this point, so let's just get started. Cars 3 Driven to Win doesn't have that much content, so let's get into the scrapped content and beta of Cars 3 Driven to Win. First up, got some early concept art with Cars 2 McQueen appearing in instead of the Cars 3 version. Weird. Then we got an early main menu design with the Cars 1 McQueen for some reason. And then we have a, um early loading screen design. It looks um, pretty good, actually. I think I would like to see this in the actual game. In Cars 3 Driven to Win, Luigi was completely unused in the game. However, evidence does suggest that he was meant to be playable, such as an FE folder and the previously mentioned clip voice clips mentioning Luigi as if he was actually a racer. In Cars 3 Driven to Win, there exists dialogue implying that Luigi was meant to be playable in the game from Sally, Mater, and Chick Hicks. The latter would have been used for Chick's Pick segments after every late race Luigi would be in. There are also voice clips for some characters commentating on, e on any custom visuals said character would have. Well everybody, there you have it. There is all of the beta content for all the Cars video games. And yes, I already know some of you guys are trying to comment, well, where's Cars Hot Shot Racing? Where's Cars Adventures from Radio Springs? They don't have any beta content, I've already checked. So, yeah, so, yeah, stop, stop arguing about that. It's, it's not gonna happen. This was definitely my most ambitious video yet, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Now, roll the credits.
And no, Hedge, I did not copy your video. I made this idea up while I was in math class. Just shut up.